welcome to my criteria D success criteria uh, demonstration we're gonna start with my first success criteria which is the ability for my program to add a list or add an item to a shopping list by typing in the words no we start making a new list by typing the words add we give it a name to the new uh, item and a price to the new item we have given a name to this item proving criteria one criteria two is that we can add a price and a name to it so we've done that that's criteria two down criteria three is the ability for the program to calculate the total of all the items in the list you can see here that as there's only one item it only calc you know there's no math to be done so the price is one dollar that is proof that criteria three is successful if we type in the word no and then no again we can type in the word I mean the command delete item and then we should confirm deleting that number from the list the program automatically displays whatever is left of the list after you deleted a single item however there's nothing in it so that's criteria four halfway finished we stop the program and run it again and then we open up another file like test three I'm sorry type in yes test three view to see what's inside of it I don't want to save it right now we type in the reset command we can wipe the contents of the file we run the view command again and you can see there's nothing in the list because we've reset it now we're gonna show that we can save a list so we type in the word add give just a generic number oh I'm sorry the reset was the second half of criteria 4 now criteria 5 saving a list we can do it by typing no here, typing yes to this prompt, entering a name. We're just going to name it ABC. And you'll see over here on the left hand side that ABC has been saved as a file. That's the first five criteria down. The sixth criteria is the ability to delete a list. So if we run the program, and then at the beginning we type in delete, we can type in ABC which then immediately deletes the list we just created. The seventh criteria is the ability to open a list, which we already just did, but for demonstration, we can type in yes, and then test two, view, and you can see that we've opened that list, it's loaded into the program, and we can see what the contents of it are now. Some edge cases include trying to save a list that has the same name as another name. This is test2. So if we go to save and enter the name test3, we're given the prompt to overwrite it or choose a different name by typing in yes or no respectively. We're going to overwrite it by typing yes. And for the record, we're in test2 and we're trying to overwrite test3. So the difference is that we're going to delete the sixth line on test three whenever we overwrite it. I believe at least. Oh, there you go, you just watched it happen and disappeared. Some other extreme edge cases include trying to enter uh, an item to a list with uh, a name that doesn't make any sense, like a bunch of characters and numbers. However, I allow this because um, a product might have a weird character in it and I don't think that should be disallowed however prices cannot be um, uh, characters of any kind they can only be numbers and also they can't be negative numbers however instead of penalizing the user for entering a negative number for a price for example this number 9122 if we make that negative I'm sorry this command doesn't work Okay, so let's let's just delete this and then start out by typing negative 900 the program will assume this is a mistake and just convert it to a positive number so the fact that only positive numbers can be inputted to the program at this stage means that criteria 3 has no extreme edge cases because to calculate the total you would add up all of the the price of all the items but they're all positive so it's always going to add to the correct number Criteria four is that if you try to delete uh, items from the list when there's already nothing in it, it just tells you that 
you know, you can't delete items that don't exist, so it just gives you, it just tells you that you can't delete them. I'll prove that now. We just deleted the only item in the list, and now if we try to enter that, that command again, there's nothing on your list to delete. Criteria 5, saving a list. We already went over that by trying to overwrite a list, so we're not going to do that now. Criteria C, deleting a list. Or, I'm sorry, criteria 6, deleting a list. If there's no list to open, I'm sorry, if, yeah, there's no list to delete, then you can't delete any. And this edge case is handled by the program detecting whether you have deleted or if you have any lists to delete. And if you do, then you can delete them. But as you can see right here, there's no previous list found, so it automatically creates a new list for you. Also, same rule applies for, number, for criteria 7. No lists can be found, so you can't open any unfindable lists. Now I want to talk about the extensibility of the product. I think that there's way too much typing involved. And my client also agrees on this point. So I think in the future I would have liked to add a graphical user interface to the program. Also, I would have liked to add personally a database of items that the user has made before. So that way they can like pick and choose items they've already used before that they, for example, shop for a lot and add them to the list saving time on them having to re-constantly type out all the information. Anyway, goodbye.